our last day at the yurt today so I'm actually stood in the kitchen right now and I realised that I haven't shown you any of the interior of the yurt or any of the little facilities so we took all of our stuff to the car because it was covered in our stuff so it's empty now and I can show you what it looks like a little seating area this is the bed this is a very very comfy bed and that quilt is the thickest quilt I've ever slept in we've got a little cute decoration there the log burner so this is the front door there was a little chest of like games and books and hot water bottle cute things in there and then this is the back door this is a little outdoor kitchen Think have an outdoor shower. This was fab. Look at that. A little bit of faith in nature products as well. We love that. And then over here is the outdoor toilet. It's just a composting toilet. I don't really feel like you want to go in there, but that's where it is. Fire pit, a little bit of wood chopping, mountain. Okay, and we're off. We are done with your life. And now we are back to um, like another waterfall walk really but today is the day that we are determined to find this secret waterfall so fingers crossed we make it to that it's not going to be as long as yesterday just maybe like a two hour walk if that um, we need to eat something we're gonna to to try and find a little shop now because there is nothing up here in the hills where we are and then we'll be going home and watching the first F1 race. Woo! Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. beautiful these waters are I'm obsessed I wish we could get in we've just started our walk in this initial wooded section now and instantly we've stopped and got the drone out because the wind isn't too bad today much less than yesterday at least and it's just again endless beautiful waterfalls it's really quiet in here and it's just another spot that we will 100% be visiting in summer or at least when it's a little bit warmer to do some wild swimming because it's that really gorgeous like blue water just so clear I mean we have really looked out this weekend it has just been despite that wind on the summit yesterday absolutely gorgeous and i think we found it i'm gonna know in like two seconds yes oh my god
we've just come up and away from the waterfall a little bit because it's very cold down there, no sun gets to it. I forgot that it was so lovely and glorious out. It's about 20 past three now. We need to go home. We've got about an hour and 50 minute drive and we've obviously still got to make it back to the car now. So it's been an incredible day. So worth the hours of research it took to find this. It's not easily found, but I think that's part of what makes it so special. There's no one here, there's no one. We've seen literally not a soul in sight all day long. It's in the middle of nowhere and it's not really, it's not on a path or anything like that. So if you're gonna do it, do your research and enjoy because it is certainly spectacular and it really does not feel like you're in Wales when you're in this part. The caves, the size of the waterfall, where it is, it's just an amazing day. So we need to get walking. I must have been so pleased with myself about finding this waterfall that I completely forgot to record any sort of ending to this video. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I would really appreciate that. And stay tuned because we're heading into the Brecon Beacons for three nights this weekend. We've got lots of hiking plans and hopefully we're going to tick off a good few mountains from the 188 Welsh mountains list that we're trying to complete.